But let me tell you about some chicks that I know I got a Latina girl that said she wanted Prano I got a girl in Toronto, man, I call her Raptor She tryna chase the dollar, yeah, that's all she after She said she fed up with the modern rappers There's no energy, that's sounded thin to me, yeah So I said I got that remedy I got that old shit, you can't depend on me <laughs> Cause I'm versatile Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eli from Checkit.com here with a Photoshop tutorial on Malicious Monday or Tutorial Tuesday. I'm not sure when it'll go up, but anyway guys, today someone requested I do a tutorial. I'll put his name right here. He just wanted me to do a text effect that the original tutorial just wasn't up to snuff or t he didn't like how it was explained. So he wanted me to you know, put my own spin on it and just do it myself. So yeah, I'm doing it. So I hope you're happy, bro. <laughs> so what it is guys is it's just this really cool hipster effect um it's basically all fake 3d and stuff but the process to get to this is actually pretty cool so i know that you guys are going to learn something really cool today if you guys could please give the video a like i'll include both of the project files at checkit.com slash downloads and i'll also put all the links to everything you need i'm not allowed to give you guys these uh grid textures or the fonts because uh I have to give you the links to them, they're right here. I'll give you all those links in the description, so check those out. But if you could, please give the video a like for all my hard work, guys. I mean, I do work very hard. I try to give you guys three tutorials a week now. And also, please leave a comment, because I leave all my favorite comments at the end of the video. And uh, with that, guys, we can get started. So let's open up Photoshop, and let's start by creating a new project by hitting Control or Command N. And you can name it whatever you want whatever I want and I'm gonna make mine 1920 by 1080 and I'm gonna hit OK and I'll just exit out of the old one cuz uh, I'll be giving you guys that if you want it I'm gonna zoom in using the scroll wheel and the first thing we want to do is double click this little background over here and we want to make sure that our foreground color is set to this color right here you guys can make it whatever color you want but this is what they use in the tutorial as well it's E4 CBA 9 it's just this nice tan color I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to hit Alt Backspace to fill our background layer with that foreground color. Alright, now what we want to do is we want to create a new text. So let's hit T to bring up our text tool. Then let's go up to our font options and let's just go find a font called, well, I'll show you right here. The first font we want is Sullivan. So you guys can download it here. The link is in the description. So let's go here. Let's uh, go find the S section and find Sullivan, there it is. All right, let's click anywhere in this blank canvas area and let's type in hip stir. Yeah, that, that seems original, right? All right, now let's go to our actual text options over here. This is the character menu right here. And let's uh, select the hipster layer and let's hit Control or Command T and then hold Shift and Control to just size it up a lot. Move it over. And for right now, we can't see what's going on, but I just want to get it to a relatively good size. Oops. Alright, I'm going to hit the check mark. And so you guys can see, right now, I'm going to make it black, but we want to change this font to fill. Alright, and we actually want to make it the same color as our background. So let's click on the color and then use this little eyedropper tool to grab the same exact color. Hit OK. And now we'll just hit the check mark. And what we want to do is hit V to bring up our move tool. Then hit Command or Control A to select the whole entire image. Make sure Hipster is selected. And we just want to center it completely. Okay? Then hit Control or Command D to deselect that. And now what we want to do is we want to make three different duplicates of this layer. So let's hit Control or Command J three different times. Okay? And we just want to rename these different things. The first one we want to rename, we'll call it 3D. The second one we want to do is lines and the third one we want to do is bevel all right so on bevel let's hit t to bring up our tool for the text let's double click in this area go to our font options over here and let's change it from fill to bevel all right and now what we want to do is we want to go down to the blending modes and we want to change the blending mode to overlay and now for the lines we want to change it from fill to regular and we want to change the lines layer to overlay as well and you'll notice that we're just getting this kind of cool effect now let's zoom in here and you'll see that we have these like cool lines within the bevel it looks just cool 
All right, next what we want to do is we want to take the 3D layer and drag it below the hipster layer. Can now go up to the blending modes and change it from normal to multiply. All right, so now it comes to the kind of confusing part, guys. Let's select off of 3D, select back onto it, and now we're going to push it down one pixel and over one pixel using the arrow keys. And then we want to hit Control or Command J to duplicate it. And then just repeat that process. Down one, over one. Control or Command J. Down one, over one. And just repeat that process until you get something that you kind of like. I think that looks pretty good. Doesn't need to be perfect or anything like that. <laughs> And when you get something that you like, now we're going to select the entire group by holding shift and clicking on the top one. And we're going to hit Control or Command G to group that layer. Double click on the group and we'll just rename this 3D Shadow. Alright, and next what we want to do is we want to repeat that entire process once again. So let's duplicate the hipster layer by hitting Control or Command J. Drag it below the hipster layer. And this time we're going to call this the shadow. Now with shadow selected, we're going to go up to the blending modes and we're going to change it to multiply as well. Now we're going to do it in the opposite direction, up one over one. So click off of it, select shadow, up one over one, controller command J, up one over one. All right. And now once you get it to where you're thinking it looks pretty cool, let's do the same exact thing we did before. Select them all, hit controller command G and we'll name this one shadow cool and now what we want to do is we want to hit controller command e to merge shadow then we want to hit controller command e to merge the 3d shadow as well and now we have complete control over how we want them to look we can you know go back in and make sure that we have a multiply selected on it and we can always go into the effects and do a color overlay the tutorial had a little more of a brighter looking 3d look like right about there so I'm gonna hit ok hit ok once again and now we're gonna mess with the shadow so first and foremost we want to drag the shadow below the 3d shadow of course and now we're gonna go up to filter blur Gaussian blur and let's just find one where it's a happy medium between not too crazy blurred out but then you know not crisp of course so uh, 6.6 .6 looks pretty good to me. I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to go back up to Filter. I'm going to go to Blur. And now we're going to apply a Motion Blur to it. And uh, around 50 does look good. So I'm going to keep it around there. And the angle's completely up to you. But I'm going to keep mine around 54. And I don't want it too crazy out there. And right about there looks really good to me. So, 48 with a 65 distance. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to create that cool looking background. So we're going to go to our shape tool by hitting U. And I already have the rectangular shape tool selected. But if you don't, you can hit Shift U until you get to it. Or you can go over to the actual button, click and hold, and just go straight to U. Now let's click and drag straight on top. Okay, now that we have our selection, it automatically creates a new shape. Click on it. Go to the effects. We want to go to a pattern overlay. Now I already have pattern selected here. I already have some installed. Uh, the place that the tutorial you know gives you to go is actually a really nice place. It's called subtlepatterns.com. You can buy their plugins, which are really powerful, but they also offer a ton of free things here. The problem with downloading them from here and getting them for free is they just come as pictures and you have to make them yourself. You have to make the patterns yourself. So if you downloaded some that you like, uh, I'm gonna show you how to install them right now. So click and drag them into Photoshop, into a new project. And now you'll see that you just have this picture, but this picture can become a pattern. So let's double click on this lock over here. And then let's go up to edit, define pattern. And you can name it whatever you want. I already have it named. And uh, do that for both of them. And once you do, oh, I can exit out of these. No, I don't want to save it. Once you do, you'll have them saved and it'll be a pattern, which is awesome. So pattern overlay, of course. And which one do we want? Uh, let's do the bigger pattern. And let's make the blend mode multiply. Hit OK. And once you deselect it, you can move it, of course, if you want. Let's actually make it perfectly centered. So let's hit Control or Command A. And let's go up to here and let's just make it perfectly center. 
Okay, and you could do the middle one as well. Controller Command D, perfect. And uh, that's looking pretty awesome. But the last thing that I really want to do is add kind of a grungy look on top of everything. And you know my favorite way of doing that is just grabbing a grungy image. I'm going to be providing this paper texture in the description for free. If you guys have your favorites that you guys want to use, you can. So I'm going to drag it, make it huge. That's what she said. I'm going to drag it all the way to the top. We want to set it to something like linear burn. And then you can always lower the opacity, but it just gives it that extra oomph that makes it look awesome. That paper texture just looks so cool to me. All right, so the last thing we want to do is hit T and type in just some random font down here, or you can type in like your company name or something like that. You guys can put in Church of Checker Productions or whatever you want, really. I'm going to hit V, and then with the Photoshop tutorial layer selected, I'm going to hit Controller Command T and just size it up to where I want it to be. Maybe right about there. Now go up to the check mark, hit T once again, and we'll change this font to the next font on the list, which is Mench. Or I think I'm saying that right. I don't know. Uh, it's, a, it's a cool font, but yeah, it's free too if you go to that site. So I'm going to go here and find M. I don't know my ABCs. <laughs> Where are you, Mench? Sounds like Wench. There we go. And I use Thin in the original... A picture that I showed you but I don't know exactly what they put on the website because they didn't say but yeah I'm gonna make this white perfect then I'm gonna go to the effects and I'm just gonna put on a drop shadow definitely not too crazy I don't want it far and I don't want it too hard there we go perfect and now I can position it wherever I want and I think it's actually a little too large that's what she said. Goodness gracious. <laughs> All right. And I want to center it. So controller command A. And I just want to center it this way. Perfect. Controller command D. And we can actually make this soft light if we truly desired to. Just to make it kind of blend in a little better. And the last thing we want to do is just add a kind of adjustment layer on top of this. So let's select the top. Go to adjustments. And we can go to the curves layer. And just really crush it. Now let's go to the red channel and turn down the reds, really turn down the greens, and then just amp up the blues. And we get this cool hipster look, just like a vintage looking hipster. There we go. How cool is that? <laughs> and with that, guys, you are now done. So thanks for watching. I mean, you guys could spend a ton more time on this and make it look perfect, but you know, this was just a quick tutorial. I dragged this on top, but I'm going to save this quick by hitting Controller Command Shift S. And it's called whatever I want, but I'll just call it Hipster PSD I I Enter. All right, and with that, guys, I'll end the tutorial. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something. Go check out the original text and the original author if you really want to. I hope that I did it justice, and I hope that the guy that requested this tutorial really got something out of it that he was looking for. So I'll see you guys on Wednesday. I'll make a tutorial. I don't know if it'll be Cinema 4D or Photoshop. I'm not quite sure. It's whatever I feel like that day, okay? <laughs> but I'm going to be starting my vlogs tomorrow, so if you guys want to check that out, it'll be on TakeOver. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Huh. Well, let me tell you about some chicks that I know. I got a Latina girl that says she wanted Prano. I got a girl in Toronto, man, I call her Raptor. She trying to chase the dollar. Yeah, that's all she after. She says she fed up with the modern rappers. There's no energy. This ain't it to me. Yeah. So I said I got that remedy I got that old shit You can't depend on me <laughs> Cause I'm versatile I can shake up the floor I reverse the tile You can bet your whole purse Every verse is wild Make a sucker MC Go reverse his style You can put your money down on it Yeah, you can count on it And if you're feeling like it sounds legit Then you should bounce to this
slow, man, you fall faster If you even come close, man, you don't have to But I'm the idiot dude that went from considering business school To living my vision and getting ridiculed Cause you're still a fool until you're a genius And then you're with a stylist girl that don't know what a genius And then you're with a married girl that don't know where a ring is Until you're with a foreign girl that forget her